Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday. The rotation leads us to a Bionicle review, and this one's on on John Cuckoo Bird and Taku and Puku from 2003, of course. So starting out with one Matorn, starting oh, otherwise just the captain of the guard, Jaller. And of course, this is which second time we've. Oh wait, hang on. Closer inspect. This, of course, this is the second time we've ever had this character of Jala. Well, first time named Jala, but then now Jaller or that. Well, second version that we've had of him. But however, same build as all the other Koli Matoran, but however, in red and yellow. Nice color scheme to see here. And of course, and like the last version, the Kanoe Howl in our Mask of Shielding in yellow, of course. And same feature as the other Koli Matoran like that as well, which I reviewed uh, last, last throwback Thursday, of course. And then we had, then of course we had the two other variants as well, being the Toa Anika and Mari versions, of course. And that's, that is about it with Jala. And now into the Chronicler, uh, Takua. I wish first version of him, or otherwise, first actual set version of him. Um, and of course there was a Tahunka version of him that was just mentioned about before, but however, this was actual set form of him. And of course we, and very recently, just got in system for made of system that's in the uh, the purchase uh, Tahu set earlier this year, of course, or recently, of course. So, kind of interesting to see him here as well, of course, but of course, and of course, same build as all the rest of the Coley Matoran, of course, but in red, but instead of yellow, it's bright, regular blue, but the mask of which is in a bright blue, kind of, that's just way to describe him then. Even though on the Get With Purchase version, and the, uh, uh, Tahunga versions had yellow legs, of course. Well, you could mod them with yellow legs if you wanted, but he'd be confused easily for Jaller, but whatever. <coughs> so, oh, and also, as I forgot to mention in the other review, although it would be nice if Jaller, uh, Hafu, and, uh, Maku all had shield pieces like they did in the Mask of Light movie. Okay, but maybe that would be a little much. But whatever. Although you could make your own out of the system if you wanted. But yeah. And that's about it. With them. So now, first creature to Orahi to look at is Takua's royal animal, royal crab, Puku. Of course, kind of an interesting build for that, like for a Rocky. Thing. But of course, not like the earlier Rockies. But of course, does have any feature which I'll show soon. But yeah. So now, for the front part of which, which as he has these two arms, which are just regular Toamata limbs, for that, but with. Uh, Levac calls uh, claw pieces for that as actual claws. Nice to see there. And then also this uh, front face part, which is consisted of mostly a rock sheath back piece that is not hiding any crana or any crata or anything. But also do have this little uh, technic piece acting as a bottom mouth part. And this we don't get very much on some of the other sets. Well, we which did a few years after, of course. But seeing it here in silver, nice to have. And then as for the uh, eye parts, which are consistent of mostly uh, Toamata arms going out with ball joints as the eyes. But although in the Mask of Light movie, they which were mostly in yellow to that. Although it would be nice, I, although I think these would be better in yellow, but whatever. And that's for the 
little top bottom top view of Puku here. As you can tell, very disc-like with all these uh, tubes there. Well, inner ones, which, which are just kind of smaller, and then the outer ones are two together. Although in the Mask of Light movie, it was all one solid piece then. And also a couple more inner tubes here, which were just flex tubes connected to two different beams and what these uh, blue pins sticking up are for, which all show soon, but yeah. And then the back side, which is just some technic parts and a rockshi vaki kind of piece holding those together. And then as you see, that all these legs here consistent of some technic bits and leading up with borak eyes, of course. And then underneath are some wheels, ones that are just don't do anything, and the two that are for the leg feature. Which this one for the center part of which, but then the other side of which is for the other part, two other parts. So, and to see it in motion, you might put it on any surface or possibly carpeted surfaces, and you can see the, the uh, tick up and down for that. So it's great, nice feature, good for playability and well, so on. And, uh, and as for those blue pins here, enough to sit uh, Takua on to, but also two in the back to sit Jaller or, or whoever else on to as well. As, well. I'm not sure why exactly like this, but however, in the Mask of Light movie, it shows them side by side for that. Even though you can kind of do so like this, or like this kind of works out, but although they just aren't attached to anything, then, but whatever. Oh, you could modify it to completely do so, but yeah. And I guess that is about it with Taku and Puku here. And now on to the Guku bird. Which also a quite unique rock of this time, but also one that we don't have any mask pieces onto, which the 2001 Rahis kind of did. But, but of course, that was just for the first year for that. But this 2003, it was quite different for that. But yeah. Then, as for the front part, just the head of it. Comprised of mainly two different Robo Rider head pieces and also red studs used for eyes, of course. Which same thing happened with same thing gone, gone with uh, Kreka the following year, of course. And then the beak comp comprised of mostly uh, Gopaka's eye sword in this uh, Kitorange uh, kind of coloring. But although in the Mac Light movie it was kind of like an actual organic. Uh, bird, robot, or robot-sized bird kind of part to it, but they just didn't do so here, but whatever. But of course, this design, fair enough for that. And as for this upper part, which has some technique beams and also these kind of brackets holding a Rakshi back piece to that, which kind of does clip open like the others, but it's not meant to in this case, but However, for just for looks, but although both this and Puku do come with that, but of course this in silver you can definitely use with to make a all silver rock she, but uh, yeah. Then as for these wing parts, which are kind of an X shape, okay. which with the rock she limbs in bright in light gray, kind of an nice color to see there and going off to hand connectors and going to uh, Liwa Nuva's katanas in uh, in burnt orange although one use of that is you can like turn it like that and have it be in a standing resting position to if you're gonna like stand it on a shelf or whatever or just lay down flat or like that 
and as for the uh, center part of which which is consisting of like other uh, brack beams and such and then also a few rods with tan uh, rod sticking out which is for a sitting feature and then as for the back part of which which has flex tubes going on downwards and then ending off with another roller wire headpiece and what this bottom section which has a, a rubber band to it well it's actually a handle for that so if you like hold it like that and then pull this uh, technique beam here and then makes the wings flat All right, up, upwards and outwards like so although if you can like do it very quickly then you can like reenact it from the master of light movie so of course this so that this would be quite fun feature for that then now to sitting a matoran onto it to so also sit it onto those uh, tan pins like so well there and also same with on the back side as well and although in the mask of light movie taku and jawler kind of that in like backwards for that but although the front part did have a pair of handlebars for Takua to hold on to now I'm not sure why exactly uh, not have it present here but maybe you could modify the set if to have that if you wanted but whatever So now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think these of which are a great sets for how they are. Like good playability and also first time of Jolly and Takua available on sh store shelves instead of as a McDonald's promos like the earlier Torn sets were. Or yeah. And of course they which a couple of the main characters of the Mask of Light movie. Yeah, for that. And of course with both sets of which have enough uh, sitting space for both of them so you can then reenact parts from the movie of course so that of which great to see there although I think that Gugubur that could have at least have a different piece used for the beak part but at least the Kopaka sword in the that color which is still workable but and of course Gugubur with the uh, sword pieces in different colors. Nice to see here. Also good for mocking, of course. And of course, a couple of great features on both of them, like moving Puku's legs around and flapping Guku Bird's wings, obviously. But yeah. And also for the price points that they were at the time, it was still great for how they were. And of course, they would still kind of a sign of the times where got something large and cool for a cheap price. But of course, but nowadays, maybe worth quite a bit more now, but at least still kind of workable for the price points in today's standards as well. But yeah. And so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and are still looking to get these sets, then I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.